Hi, this is Nash with Alpha Phi, and today I'm going to talk about Guardian, Guardian Life Insurance Company. Guardian is one of my favorite companies to work with, and there's really two main reasons why. One is performance. They are part of one of the four major mutual companies that have been around for almost hundreds of years that have a proven track record of performance, meaning cash value growth proven over time, not just projections or illustrations into the future. The second reason is PUA flexibility. With Guardian, you can maximize the you can design the policy for maximum cash value and cash value growth over time with a minimum base premium and a maximum PUA contribution. But not only that, but once you pay your policy base premium, that 10%, you can Throw money into PUAs literally at your discretion as you have the money. Not only can you fund it multiple times or you know in multiple chunks throughout a year, you can also, it carries over into future years and you can make those payments up if you're not able to take advantage of the full opportunity from year to year. This is very flexible compared to other companies that we work with. Uh, there's certainly others that provide really strong performance, but Guardian's flexibility is very, very strong. We're not going to compare Guardian to other companies today. We're just going to talk and do a deep dive all about Guardian. So we're going to start with dividend interest rates, going into loan rates, and then do an example. Guardian's dividend rate in 2022 was 5.65%. And they have a guaranteed rate on all products of 3%, except for one product, which is the 10 pay, where they have a 2% guaranteed rate. With a 2% versus a 3% guaranteed rate, essentially the difference is the surplus. Uh, so more uh, dependent on the dividend for performance. So the 10 pay is more uh, susceptible to dividend fluctuations where the other products are have a higher guarantee, therefore less susceptible to the dividend. Uh, this changed in from 1980 to 2021, there was a 4% guaranteed rate. A lot of companies, uh, because of an IRS rule change, updated their products and their guaranteed rates from 2022 forward to have different guarantees, some, some lower, some have different tiers, just like we're looking at a few options from Guardian. So now it's 2% for all products and, or sorry, 3% for all products, 2% for the 10 pay. So when you look at a dividend rate, you have 5.65 total. So that means 3% is guaranteed. That gives you a 2.65% surplus. And this is a gross dividend rate before it, uh, company expenses, mortality charges, and fees. The 10 pay, as we said, is 2%. So it has a larger dependency on the dividend. So the, the surplus rate is 3.65%. Going back in, in time with the 4%, it's less susceptible to the dividends, and so it's only a 1.665% surplus rate. So that's the dividend rate, the earnings potential. Then we hear a lot about how you can take loans and uh, reinvest the money from your cash value, loans against your cash value to reinvest in other things. The, the loan rate... The loan rate is a fixed rate at 5%. And, and what DR means over here is it is Guardian is a direct recognition company. What that means is for money you take a loan against, as opposed to money left in the policy, they apply a different dividend interest rate to the loaned money versus the non-loaned money. And we'll go through an example in just a minute. I know this says 5%, but the real interest rate, if you look at it, is 4.76%. Uh, the reason that is, is if you pay it off on your policy anniversary date, you actually uh, get a little bit less of it, or a little bit of a discount there. If you don't, it, it compounds and accrues at the 5% rate. In the 10th year of your policy, you have an option to actually switch to a 4% variable rate this is tied to Moody's Corporate Bond Index. Moody's is currently 5.1% uh, or so, even with the drastic increase in interest rates. 
and the policy would switch to non-direct recognition, meaning there is no impact to the dividend if you take loans. Normally, companies have either a fixed rate and it's direct recognition or a variable rate and it's non-direct recognition, um, allowing flexibility on one side or the other. Uh, they also have a fixed rate option. So if you choose the variable rate, you can't go back to the fixed rate. But if you stick with the fixed rate, they have a, uh, basically it drops down to 3% at the latter of age 65 or year 20 in the policy. So if you have, if we have a 40 year old male, the latter of age 65 or the 20th year of the policy is what? Age 65, because 40 plus 20 years is 60. So the latter would be 65. So it'd be a 25 year wait period. If you're 55, then the latter of age 65 or 20th year would be the 20th year, would be age 75. And it would drop to a fixed interest rate of 3%. The interest on the loans is billed in advance and at a discount of 4.76, as I said. So a loan of $10,000, 4.76% is $476 worth of interest. It is annual simple interest. It accrues daily. And if you pay it early, then you get a refund. So uh, another way to say this is that if you take that loan or if you take your max loan, you actually won't have 100% loaned value to your cash value because they build that interest up front and give you a refund if you pay it early. So another way to consider this is a loan to value equation. Uh, so that, that interest really isn't due until your next policy anniversary date. So a lot more flexible than bank loans. Now, jumping to an example, moving my face over here in the middle. Actually, I'll, I'll put it over here. So if we have a cash value of 100,000 or over 100,000, just so we're not dealing with the LTV equation, and we take a policy loan of $50,000 that has a 5% loan interest rate, the dividend would drop from what? 5.65, at least in 2022, down to 5% to match the loan interest rate. The cash value would uh, of fifty thousand dollars remaining would still have a five point six five percent dividend, so it would be a blended return. Uh, so what this means is the growth would be slightly less in taking a policy loan uh, from Guardian. Some people will get around this by setting up a third party line of credit. You can take a uh, put up your cash value as collateral and take a loan through them. Then there's no direct recognition treatment of the policy. Uh, to kind of, as kind of a workaround. So this is some key information about Guardian, just skimming the surface, but it's always good to know about these major companies and understand how they work with the key features, their performance over time, and so on. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and there will be more to come. Thanks a lot and take care. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, you can learn more at alphacrusaders.com at the link at the end of this video.